Hi and welcome to the Credit Card Killers Calculator Training. This calculator helps you work out how long it will take you to pay off your credit card in full based on your chosen monthly payment. This calculator is for you to download and use in Excel so that you can use it over and over again. Save your examples and refer back to them at any time. For example, it might be when the interest rate changes or if you decide that you want to pay off your credit card sooner than first planned or maybe you're given some money that you want to put towards your credit card bill. There are many types of credit cards available on the market, but they can all be divided into two main groups. Those that offer interest-free periods and those that don't. Generally, those that don't offer the interest-free days tend to charge either a higher rate of interest after the interest-free days have expired or they could charge an annual fee of up to $150. Remember that very few things in this life are really free, so it's really important to do your research when you're choosing what credit card is best for you and also to read the fine print. With no interest-free day cards, there's normally no annual fees to pay for having the card in the first place. But then you don't receive any free days between your date of purchase and statement or due by date. Also, some of these cards don't offer all of the added benefits, such as reward programs and travel insurance. With interest-free day cards, you must pay off the outstanding balance in full by the due date to get your interest-free day, so really remember that. If this is what you do every month, then congratulations! You get charged an annual fee though, so you really need to make sure that the interest that you're saving and all the rewards and any other benefits that you're receiving from the card are enough to make the annual fees worthwhile. So again, ensure that you do your research. This calculator can be used no matter what type of credit card you have and it's a great way to calculate how long it will take you to completely pay off the balance of your credit card at the current interest rate. Now there are a few little limitations to this calculator and the first one is that the interest rate is assumed to be constant throughout the term so it's not variable, it won't change. It also does not take into account any late fees, cash advances, or additional charges to the account. Let's take a look at each section of the calculator now. The first is current balance. In this field, enter your current balance that you have on your credit card. The interest rate is what your credit card provider charges you, so have a look on your statement for that. And interest only payments. Now, this is automatically calculated for you and it represents the amount that you must exceed in order to pay off your card. So, in this example, you have to pay more than $5.40 a month so that you can actually pay the balance off your credit card. Because if you only pay interest, then you're never going to pay off the balance. Please note that this figure doesn't necessarily represent the minimum monthly payment that your credit card company requires. Normally credit card companies require about 3-4% to of the balance to be paid off each month. But check with your credit card provider because they, they can all be different. You can also look on your monthly credit card statement for this as well. Section A of this calculator helps you to work out how many months it will take to pay off the credit card. So under monthly payment, when calculating the months to pay off, you enter the amount that you are currently paying or that you plan to pay per month. The amount must be greater than the interest only payment or you won't be able to pay off the credit card balance. Part of the monthly payment will go towards paying the interest due and the other part goes towards reducing the balance. And when calculating the monthly payment, this is the estimated payment that you would need to make each month in order to reach your goal. It's only an estimated because it doesn't include any fees, future charges, cash advances or changes in the interest rate. So once you've entered in, in this example, the $10 under monthly payment, it'll, the calculator will automatically calculate that it will take so many months to pay off and it will also tell you how much interest that you've paid. Alternatively, 
if there's a certain time period that you want to pay your account balance off so in this example let's say you wanted to pay your three hundred and fifty dollars off in six months then you just simply write under payoff goal how many months you want to pay it off and the calculator will automatically calculate what is the monthly payment that you need to pay off so in this case instead of ten dollars you actually need to pay sixty one dollars fifty two and again it will also t calculate how much interest that you've paid let's look at an example Poppy is 19 years old and she gets her first credit card with an available balance of a thousand dollars on it. She admits that she's not the best money manager in the world and she loves to shop. At Christmas time she finds herself shopping and she falls in love with a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes which are on sale for only $350 normally $700 so it's a 50% bargain and she decides to put them on the credit card. When the credit card bill comes in the following month she finds that she is unable to pay the whole amount off and can only put $10 on the card. So let's enter in these details here. Current balance is $350. We'll assume a 19 percent interest rate that the credit card provider is charging her so this means that she has to pay more than five dollars and fifty four cents a month to be able to pay off some of that balance so that's the interest only payment now she can afford ten dollars at the moment so that means it will take her fifty one point four two months or four point two nine years to pay off those shoes she will also pay a total of $164.22 in interest. So that's almost half the cost of the shoes. Now there are a few things to note here. Poppy's credit card will be paid off in 4.29 years, assuming that she continues to pay $10 a month on it, and she makes no other purchases on the card for the entire 4.29 years, and also the interest rate does not change. Generally, the chances of someone never paying for something else on their credit card is very slim. Most of the time after you've bought an item and you've used it a couple of times, you tend to forget that you still have to pay for it and so you don't realize how much you end up actually paying for it when interest is included. In Poppy's example, she most likely didn't realize that she was going to pay $514 in total for the shoes instead of $350. Let's look at another example, Meet Brad. Now he recently received a credit card with an available balance of $2,000 and he decided that he wanted to buy the latest iPad. So after doing his research, he finds that he can purchase one online for $800 and he uses his credit card to pay for it. After using it every day for a month, Brad quickly goes tired of it and he feels that he's had it for a long time. And so he decides that now he'd like to buy a new digital camera and that's valued at $550. And he also puts this on his credit card. When his credit card statement comes in, he can only afford to put $50 on the card. So let's have a look at his situation in the calculator. So we simply enter $800 for the iPad plus $550 for the digital camera. We'll assume that he has also a 19% interest rate. So he has to pay more than $21.38 to again pay some money off his balance. Now his monthly payment that he can afford is $50. So it's going to take him 2.96 years or 35.5 months to pay off and it's going to cost him $425.20 in interest. So already that's cost him $1,775 in total. Let's go back to our example. Now, when the next month comes around, Brad also forgets that he has to pay his car insurance of $650 and he has to put this on his credit card too. So I'll just increase that to $2,000 now and as you can see that's increased the number of months or years that it'll take him to pay off the car registration, the digital camera and the iPad. So that's 5.32 years.
It'll also cost him $1,193 in interest. Now the scary thing here is that he's only paid for one year reg car registration and this is going to take him five years to pay off. So that means there's four more years of car registration that he'll have to pay. So he's already just maxed out this credit card because his credit card limit is $2,000. So he really needs to start to manage his money effectively. So let's say Brad decides that he can put in $60 a month because his minimum amount has increased a little bit. That'll bring that down to around four years and $865 in interest. So can you see how easy it is for people to spiral into debt very quickly? Also, what if Brad's credit card provider decided to increase their rates? That is going to make a difference to the interest only payment and will also make a difference to how, my, how many months it will take him to pay off and how much interest in total he will pay. Let's just scroll down and have a look also at the calculate monthly payment. So let's say Brad says okay well four years is a long time what if I can bring that down to two years. So you've got to put that this into months. So let's say it's 24 months. Well, the calculator, based on the 20% interest rate, has worked out that you'll have to pay $101.79 a month. So instead of $60, he now has to pay $101.79. And the total interest will almost, well, more than half, down to $443. One way to avoid spiraling into debt very quickly is to purchase the magnet money system and put in place all the principles that we teach in there. So that concludes our credit card killers training video. If you have any questions or feedback then simply email us at info at moneytoolkits.com. But for now it's your turn. Underneath this video you'll see the credit card killers calculator. So feel free to download it to your computer and enter in your own details. This is Nicole Clemo wishing you and your family health, wealth and happiness.